it coming. Yeah, we keep it coming. Yeah, we keep it coming. All right, so today I am behind the Impact Hub where Go City Cycle has a bunch of bikes ready for their next tour, or the tour after that, or after that. So for a couple of years, they have been doing tours around Accra, biking tours in the daytime. Now they've started nighttime tours that are gonna be starting this coming weekend. So I'm here to talk to the owner of this place, and this is one of the bikes. They have someone here repairing them all, putting lights on them, so that when you're riding at night, you're you know, having safety measures in place because here in Accra, a lot of the streets do not have lights. So it makes it challenging if you are riding a bike or even if you're a pedestrian. So it's great that they have safety uh, safety um, things in measure of the lights on the bikes. They're gonna have vests that have lights. They have all kinds of things that have just come in specifically for the night tour. So we're gonna have a chat with him right now and find out more about Go City Cycle here in Accra. My name is Mark Woody and I am the founder and the operational director of Go City Cycle Share. And, uh, Go City Cycle Share is basically a concept that uh, is supposed to be an alternative uh, mobility or an alternative transport for Ghanaian. But at the, uh, uh, at the meantime, what we do is we take people across the major landmarks in the city and just tour them and teach them the history of Ghana where Ghana has come from, the achievement Ghana has had, and the nicest and, and, and beautiful architecture that Ghana had several years ago, which is still existing in Jamestown and, and other communities and all the vibrant culture that it has. We just pretty much take people across those places to experience Ghana the realistic way as possible. And you can have the time to stop at any point, grab some coconuts, get some shirt at the art center, or just uh, pretty much have the time that you wouldn't necessarily have when you're inside a car or you're inside a bigger bus. Uh, this is one way of touring the city, so yeah. So how many years have you been doing this for? Well, um, I started this um, earlier 2018, but I didn't start it from here. I started with uh, by a partnership that I began uh, with uh, a place called the Shop Accra. It's uh, like a cultural antiques and, 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 and Ghanaian made souvenir kind of shop. But uh, yeah, uh, going forward, I was having a much more bigger vision and a plan to have uh, a lot of bicycle fleets than what I had before when I started it. So I decided to you know, get a partner who is uh, financially stable and was able to invest in the concept and here we are with the bicycles which we are still pretty much working on and a little bicycle cafe where you can also grab souvenirs and coffee and iced tea from so um, yeah we've been existing I would say since 2018 uh, all the year to all, 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 all the way to 2020 now so yeah it's been it's been that long <laughs> but so we have a good experience basically taking us to the cafe yeah, back here okay ah this is the cafe space yeah this is the bicycle cafe <laughs> close has, quarters uh, here <laughs> has a, a bit of uh, everything that uh, we need for a tour we have a uh, a bicycle verse, make sure that visibility is a thing whilst you're cycling because Ghanaian uh, drivers don't really pay so much respect so the least you can do is to have the protective stuff uh, on the tour. So what kind of measures are you taking with COVID-19 because these helmets are going to be shared by people and some people might have this concern over having to wear a helmet someone else has worn. Yeah, so we basically, even today, what we did is we had to like always wash the bicycles because the handles is always used by multiple people, so it's not just a person. So what we do is we just wash it up and clean it up after every tour, and then we just put it back there. So after every tour, we have a pipe hose down there that we wash everything with after every tour. So yeah, that's the measures we're taking. 
just to make sure everybody is safer on the tour also. And then apart from that, we have a little workspace where people come over reading books and doing whatnot, uh, having their social media time, having their meetings and, and programs. And also we stock Ghana made souvenirs. So uh, everybody from t-shirt making, from postcards of Ghana to um, some miniatures of all the landmarks around of the city over here at Cape Coast, uh, the Independence, the Lighthouse. We have pretty much everything over here, but other than that, uh, we just, we are chill out, we are hangout spot, we just want to have people coming over to have a good time and not feel like you, you just come into a bicycle shop to sign up for a tour and then you take off. We just want to create an experience, we want to create a community where people want to hang out. Uh, hence, creating this little but cozy space. What yeah, has what, what has um, been the biggest challenge since the COVID-19 pandemic hit and borders are closed right now? Well, the, the challenges have definitely been, uh, uh, you know, when the borders closed out, of course, we had, we had a focus and niche market, which is experts traveling to the country and diaspora coming in. But of course, when it closed, all this stuff changed, which means we have to focus on our local market of uh, Ghanaian and try to convince people, Ghanaians, to take a tour because Ghanaians themselves don't like to tour their own country that is for sure so I mean they're like they have all their years in the country to tour it so whatever they want unlike somebody who travels they have little time and so they're operating on time-based uh, measures and which uh, which encourages them to cycle or take this kind of activity but yeah, for some reason we're introducing activities that Ghanaians are interested in. So uh, we just put together a new online segment which people are interested in and are already booked up. And they're all Ghanaians, by the way. Um, they are booked because it was something fancy. It had lights and on the wheels and glow sticks and fancy kind of night. So yeah, we have people uh, who are interested in that kind of activity. So we just diversified a little bit. And that is how we targeted our Ghanaian market. I am so grateful that Mark took the time to speak to me today about his next upcoming tour at night and all about Go City Cycle Share and Tour. Don't forget to visit the website at GoCityCycle.com. Again, that's GoCityCycle.com to get more information on any other tours that he is planning. And if you are outside of Ghana and you're unable to be here right now, you can plan your trip for when the borders do finally open and you can come and experience a bike tour around the city of Accra. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.